Sports betting has been legal for 10 days now here in Florida, but not a single bet has been placed. The Seminole Tribe has the exclusive rights to sport betting in our state, but they're not ready to open the sports books just yet. Sports betting is our top story at 530. The Seminole Tribe might not be ready for the games yet, but other groups say that they are. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi is live outside of the Amway Center to explain how DraftKings and FanDuel are trying to get in on the action. Dave. Well, John, that's at least their hope, and they're supporting the Florida Education ch uh, Champions. And you may have actually seen them outside the Amway or even downtown trying to collect signatures for their petition. That petition to get sports betting on the ballot in 2022. We believe that uh, the Seminole should not have a monopoly. Busting up the Seminole tribe's gaming monopoly is the sole purpose of the recently established Florida Education Champions. The political committee, financially backed by DraftKings and FanDuel, hopes to get nearly 900,000 signatures confirmed by February of 2022 to get sports betting amendment on the ballot in November of next year. So we have uh, probably about 250,000 petitions that are out out there in various local supervisors of elections office waiting to get validated. Their proposed legislation would open up online sports betting statewide to any legal sports betting platforms. They also specifically require any tax revenue to supplement the Florida Education Enhancement Trust Fund. We're expecting that to generate hundreds of millions of dollars uh, toward education. And Currently, the Seminole Tribe have the exclusive rights to sports betting after the state signed and approved the Seminole Gaming Compact. This lucrative deal guarantees Florida will make $2.5 billion in revenue in the first five years. It gives the tribe forms of gambling that are illegal otherwise within the state. And so this is in defiance of federal law, number one. Number two, it's in defiance of Florida's constitution that gives voters the final say. No Casino is one of the groups behind a federal lawsuit against the compact that will face a hearing on November 5th in Washington, D.C. Even though they're against all betting, they aren't opposed to sports betting on the ballot because they believe people will vote it down. I think it's pretty uphill because the more voters learn about it, the more turned off they are by it. Now, Sawinski says that anything could happen during that court date on the 5th. A judge could go right ahead and squash sports betting at that moment or give it the green light altogether. In the meantime, some people have speculated when the Seminoles might start sports betting. Some have said even mid-November. But the Seminole tribe spokesperson who I talked to today says that they don't have a date set. In Orlando, Dave Fuglisi, Fox 35 News.